And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the All Nations taking on the All Nations. Alongside my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chompy. Thanks for joining us here. Here we go, Chris. It's another edition of September baseball between division rivals. So we should be in for a good one. No doubt about it, Boog. Both of these clubs have the same goal in mind, and it's simply this, reach the postseason. They know each other really well at this point of the year, so they're no big surprises. Just go out and compete like crazy. Execute one play at a time and focus on clean baseball. That's all you can do this time of the year, and it's the most important thing to do. So just about set, and starting this one, the Bambino Perez. Singy always a treat when we get to watch him work. Very crafty guy out there on the hill. A stellar career ERA in the low twos. Very tough to get to. Just when you think you've got him figured out, he flips the script. We'll see how the the hitters are able to adapt to him today. Okay, all set to go. And now, Bill Gleason in for a strike. And we are underway. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. And here it comes. Nichols. Long run on his horse. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Check swing. No appeal. And a count one and two. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Not stopping. He's going for three. And he's got a leadoff triple. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day. And a nice job of turning that one around. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder number 40. Slapped foul. And he deals. That's a base hit as a run scores. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Digging in, Oscar Walker. Huh. And that's in there for strike one. Perez, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a changeup, and he works in a slider. Nobody out. Runner at first. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The next pitch misses. Going to count one and two. And there's a ball. It's a good take. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. And now Jack Gleason. First offering. Runner goes. Hammered. Base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone. And he was clearly ready to jump all over it. One away, runners at first and third. And now the first baseman, number 31. Pitch misses inside, 1-0. Oh. Right, oh. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Come on, let him fly. At the belt and fires. And that one missing low. Perez, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. First and third, one down. In the air, right field, Nichols drifts towards it. He's there. He's got it. Runner tags from third. The tag safe. And they lead by two. 
Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. And here's the rookie catcher, Sullivan. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. That one fouled off. Gleason off of first with two away. Well, they're really no, running no, no, up the pitch right. count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. That one misses. And now three balls and a strike. That one laced to center and a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Now here is number 26. Oh. First pitch, and he just misses. First and second, two down. There's a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. In the air, right field, Nichols sizes this one up. Great effort as he's able to haul it in, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on four hits, no errors, and a couple left on. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. The All Nations have the lead two to nothing. Welcome back. Today's starting pitcher, number 28. Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep in the games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. Stepping in the long hurt. ball threat, the Bambino Perez went deep in the ball game last oh, night. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game. Gets a glove on it in the hole, and he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. First pitch fastball on a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. So a man aboard. Here's a speed threat. Number five. Snap throw to first. Perez back in on a dive. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Strike in there. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets into scoring position. Runner at second, two down. Pitch misses there, and it's two and one. There's a swing and a miss. Good fastball going early until they show they can make some good contact. You keep on throwing the pitch. Next one just misses. And now it's three and two. Ed Williamson in the on deck circle. Hammered on a line to the left. Base hit. Perez headed for the plate. He scores and they trail by one. Fires the second too late into second with a double, and that was hard hit. Picks himself up an RBI. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it for. And welcome back. Here's the veteran second baseman, number 51. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Checks his swing. Appeal down to third. No swing. He held up. Daryl Parker with the call there. The 1 0. -oh. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That one's carrying. And out of here. He'll touch them all. His fourth home run of the season. It's 3 2.
good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So now here's the DH. Bobby Mitchell. But one gets a check swing. Appeal to third. And he went around according to Daryl Parker. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. That one misses ball, the zone. One, one ball, one strike. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug no question about it but the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact with less swing and miss left field number five settles underneath it and there's one down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. That one lifted to left. Number five on his way over. Makes the catch. That's out number two. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And that's a little high. The other way. And there's a hit. And that keeps the inning going. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. Walker stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And it's one and one. Good speed on the, the kick and the pitch. Runner goes. This one in the air center field. Puts the squeeze on that one and that'll end the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. The All Nations have the advantage three to two. Back here at the ballpark, here's the third baseman, Jack Gleason. The third baseman. Perez, back to work. Looked like it was a little bit up. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. That's in for a strike. And a swing and a miss there. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. And that's in the dirt. Well struck left field. And that one hops the wall. Around first, digging for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Number 31 now at the plate. In there for strike one. Tied up here in the early going. They say it went. Oh, two. And one and two. This hitter's been seeing good velocity in the at bat. It's kind of set up for that changeup. He hasn't seen it yet. Looks just like a fastball out of the hand. Henson snags it on the run. Now back. Here's the catcher to hit, Sullivan. And there's a curve through for a strike. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat. Yep, oh, this pitch him. rides Take in too far. That got him. Well, he just couldn't get out of the way of that one, and that's not an easy thing to do when you've got a fastball coming in hot. No, Number 26, up to bat next, lays off for a ball. 
that one down the line and it goes just foul. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground but I wouldn't expect. Oh. And he dodges that fastball. One, one. Strike two. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch probably hits into a double play. This one lifted in the air left field makes the grab on the run and there's two down. Yeah that was a wasted RBI opportunity but competitor like him he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Number 51 in the box for the second time one ball, one ball no okay. strikes. So two balls and no strikes. Just missed. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. There's the strike. And now a full count. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Through two and a half, it's three apiece. As we go Leading to the last of the third. Out. Now it's the, the DH, the Bambino Perez. The why to kick the pitch. There's a strike. Hurt yourself Come swinging on. at that and missing. Just a weak fly ball this time. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And a quick out number one. Welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth. Now at the plate, Bobby Mitchell. Bobby Mitchell. Swing and a ball popped up. Williamson on the move. Reaching for it and brings it in. The batter, the shortstop, Bill Gleason. So digging in, Bill Gleason. That one's in there, 0 and 1. There's a strike. I love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. With that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's Number still four. in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. And first offering is fouled off. Top of the zone for a called strike. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign. For no, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Through three and a half, we're all even, three apiece. And welcome back. And now the right fielder, Oscar Walker. The pitch. The right fielder. Oscar. And ball one. Walker. You know, this group of hitters, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Right. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've logged six hits at 90 plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Left hand hitter waits. Rip towards third. Throws across the diamond. One away here in the fifth. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jack Gleason. Jack Gleason. First pitch nope. just misses. That's a little bit low. The 2 0 is in for a strike. And it's fouled away. Bounced out to short. 
Sends it across yeah. to first. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. And now, number 31. And first offering is fouled off. And he pumps it a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Battling here as he fouls it away. Check swing, and he held up. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Halfway home. Tied at three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now here is the Bambino Perez. The wind of the pitch. And a big swing and a miss. Well, these guys digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've logged six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. This one popped up, middle of the infield. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. One down. All set for the start of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Sullivan. That one misses, and that's ball one. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. That one's got a chance. And that ball is out of here. His fourth home run of the season. And that gives him a lead. It's 4-3. So, Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. A guy known for line drives hits one over the fence. Well, if you're a little too early, you'll get some elevation in the ball, get out of the ballpark. For him, it's kind of a mistake. But you know what? When you have such a good approach, every now and then you're going to run into one. Number 26. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. That misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. Perez maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to... Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Flip to the pitcher is in time. And that's out number one on a tough play. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. The pitch. Yeah, that's too high. In the air, out towards right center. Nichols, long run, and it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Safely into second, he's got a double. Everything came together for him. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap, and when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. And next is the designated hitter, Bobby Mitchell. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. One run game, one out, one on. Gloves it on the dive, throw to first, and that's a great play for the out. Cat like reflexes on that one, makes the dive, has to get up, clean exchange to throw a strike across the diamond, and what a tremendous play. Back 
to the top of the lineup. Here's the shortstop at the play. Bill Gleason. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Right side. Burns. Tosses to first. They limit the damage here. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 4-3 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at the ballpark. Now the left fielder, number 40. Struck out on just three pitches last time. The left fielder. Pitch oh, misses, and it's 1-0. Oh. And a strike. Swing and a miss as he was late. Boom. That's cheddar, baby. Tap softly third base side. A swinging bunt. Throws to first. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. That one misses. And the count even one and one. And strike two. Right hander kicks deals. That one the other way. And foul ball. The wide, the kick, and the one two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. And now the count is even. Struck him out looking. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Gleason in the box here lets that one go for a ball. One ball, no strike. Next ball. offering misses, and yeah, that's ball two. two. Ball. No strike. Right. Outside ball. corner, there's a strike. One, one. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. In the air, left field, number five. Moving under this one, and that'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for the traditional seventh inning. Welcome back, bottom of the inning, and now the DH, the Bambino Perez. And the right hander back to work. Swing and a ball lifted, left field. And there's one away. Frank Mazzucato on the pitch here. And here is number 31. The pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. So into his eighth inning of work now on the mound, despite some rough patches. Well, he's had to battle, and there were some times where I thought he was going to throw in the towel, but he stayed out there, he kept competing, and he's gotten himself pretty deep into this one. And the 1-0. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Henson racing over to make the catch. Well, with the big lead, they can afford to let him keep rolling out there. Anytime it's safe for that starter out there on the mound, it's a really good opportunity to give the bullpen an extra break because those are the guys that you're going to depend on down the stretch. Credit the offense for giving him tons of run support. Smash down the left field line. Pulls it in on the run. And there are two outs. And now here is number 26. First offering misses the mark. What a note. That one's in there. That's strike one. The wind of the pitch. 
Next offering is outside. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. Next pitch inside. Three and one. Lined in the left center, base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a double. He was all over that one. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now number 51. First pitch, and he just misses. Two outs and one in scoring position. In the dirt, and that's ball two. And there's the strike. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Here's the throw to the plate. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. And welcome back. Three, three. Adrian Correa gets the ball now. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Perez swings through it for strike one. Well, the hitter looked pretty comfortable on that swing. Pitchers don't like to see that. Let's see how he changes it up on this next pitch. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, and two now. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. That's the inning. No runs on two hit. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the DH. Bobby Mitchell. Bobby Perez. Back to work. And there's the strike. i well impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, then you can play around oh, a little bit that. more as the, the bat expands. Going to count one and two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. So the batting bad. order turns over. Next to hit, Bill Gleason. That misses the zone. Ball one. One ball, no strike. That one ripped, and that's just foul. Curveball drops in there. Next pitch inside. Ball two. And down on strikes. Now two out. Number 40 getting ready to hit. Check swing didn't go. Ball one. Well, it's looking like it's going to be a one-run lead to hold on to in the ninth. So let's see if they turn to the bullpen or they keep riding this arm who's been so good to this point. Next offering is in for a strike. One run game here in the top of the ninth. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. So they go quietly there. One more shot coming up. Bottom of the ninth on deck. The All Nations with the lead four to three. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Ed Brown. Comes on looking for his 35th save of the season, and that's a pretty big number. Definitely one of the better closers. Three. This is why they turn to him to close out games. He's so reliable in these spots, and he just proved it for the 35th time this season. Nice job getting it done out of the pen. 4-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long.